Binghamton's Classic Rock in 99 won the Whale Free Zone in the morning. I'm Jim Free. A couple of guests in the studio. Joe from Matamoras. Joe, how are you? How you doing, Jim? Good. And Ruby from Matamoras. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Uh, you're here to talk about Stormy Daniels. Stormy oh. Daniels coming to town. How, how did this all come about? Um, I just, um, you know, she's hot right now, so I figured I'd, I'd book her. You know, it was something that we used to do a lot down at the club. We'd book a lot of uh, you know, feature entertainers, adult mm-hmm. film stars and stuff. But we kind of shied away from it lately. Um, but she's just a hot thing right now, so we thought we'd bring her into town for a night. There you go. Passing through, and you're like, yeah, we'll take that show. Yeah, yeah. You know, we created a heck of a buzz, you know, booking yeah. her as soon as we, uh, you know, we uh, put it out there on the airwaves. Uh, you know, our phones have been blowing up ever since. It's just been crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. yeah. Over the last few years, I mean, she has become, like, the biggest name in adult entertainment. And then there were some other issues that went on, but uh, th- it, she... Uh, she is really popular, like yeah, you said. Yeah, she is. And uh, she's got a book out, and she's going to be promoting that, obviously, as well. But she's going to be dancing at the club, correct? Yeah, she's actually going to do two uh, sets that evening. She's going to do one about 9.30 and one about 11.30. And in between her two sets, she's going to do a meet and greet, so everybody will have a chance to meet up with her and talk to her, maybe get a picture, buy some of her merchandise, maybe. Yeah. Nice. Now, uh, what's the actual date of the show? Uh, Wednesday, May 8th. Uh, doors will be opening at 5 p.m. that night. Okay. And uh, tickets are on sale, but only at Matamoras, correct? You can only get the tickets at Matamoras. It's selling out real quick. It's going to be a, a limited availability for it. All the private booths and stuff are already sold out, so all we have is uh, just a general admission ticket left. Okay. Uh, 25 bucks for a ticket. Come on down. That's a steal. Everywhere else you go, you're paying $7,500 to see her. Down at Matamoras, 25 bucks. Yeah. And, I mean, you guys have had Jenna Jameson there before and other big names in the adult industry, so this is really nothing new. But like you said... Haven't done it in a while. Yeah, we haven't done it in a while because that particular industry has changed over the years. Oh, yeah. um, you know, back when we were doing it on the regular, there was a lot of very popular, iconic adult film stars. Yeah. Um, nowadays, not so much. Yeah. So yeah. we kind of do it, you know, here and there when a good one comes around. Yeah, that makes sense. So again, the date of the show is Wednesday, May eighth. Doors at five p.m. Okay. Now, Ruby, you're one of the featured entertainers there. How long have you been with Matamors? So I've been working there for about two years now. Okay. Um, it's been fun, yeah. honestly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Joe's Joe's a good boss. Yeah, of course he is. Yeah, yeah and I gotta. You're say, not just saying that because he's next to you. <laughs> yeah. <right. laughs> no. You know, I gotta say, um, in all the years that we've been doing this with Madam Moore's, uh, Ruby has been one of our top performers over the years. She she can be a feature entertainer herself. Yeah. Um, she puts on a great show. She's very popular. Um. She works several nights a week, and the guys are lined up to see her every night that she's there. That's true. There you go. Also, um, the ro- the entire roster that we have right now is probably one of the hottest rosters in 30 years of doing this with Matt Moore's that we've ever had. And the, the particular night of the Stormy Show, we're going to be running about a dozen girls that night. Wow. And um, it, we're just going to, besides the Stormy Show, our girls will be putting on one heck of a show also. Okay, so in between her Stormy's two sets, you'll have all the girls. Yeah, our girls will be on stage from the minute we open till the minute we close, except for when Stormy's up there doing her thing. And don't forget, you can see all of these lovely ladies for free every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Uh, we don't have any cover charge in those nights, a tradition that we've been doing for a long, long time. So come on out, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, free admission. Sweet. All right, cool. And uh, a couple uh, improvements at the bar, too. Some remodeling, what, last year or the year before, the new VIP room? Yeah, we put a brand new VIP room, very high-end and elegant. Mm -hmm. Um, It's been open for about a year now. It's been very well received, and um, you got to come down and do a lap dance in there. It's the only way to experience it. There you go. And the new lights and the sound system, the video boards and everything, it's really cool. Great sound, light, and video system in the club. Uh, It's very cozy in there. Um, it's it's just a great place, you know. It's an icon in this town. Matamoras, yeah. 30 years, you know. Absolutely. It's still rocking. So get out there and check it out. So, again, Stormy Daniels coming to town. Uh, the date one more time? Wednesday, May 8th. You have that burned right in your head. Don't you? Oh, yeah. Man, that's only like, what, two weeks away? It's two weeks away, yep. Wow. All right. So Stormy Daniels will be in town. Again, if people want tickets, they have to go to Matamoras. What are the hours? Um, we're open at 6 p.m. Monday through Saturday, so you can come in any time after that and grab your ticket. Okay, and more. again, they're going really fast. There's only a few left, so uh, I'd yeah. come down as quick as you can and get them because yeah. once it's sold out, the doors will be closed, and, those, and if, unless you have a ticket, you can't get in. Yeah, I mean, the, the place is only so big. You yeah, can only hold right. so many people. Right. And what about uh, your website or Facebook? Yeah. How can people you know, find more have, information? Uh, we have uh, matamores.com. You can check out. We post some pictures of the girls on there and our events. Also, uh, on Facebook, we're always posting stuff up there, pictures of the inside of the club, advertisements, uh, whatever. 
Yeah. Okay. And Ruby, back to you. Now, I, I've actually seen you dance before. You do a great job. Thank you. How'd you learn? Like, how long did it take you to learn to dance on the pole like that? Um, well, to be honest, I've always loved dancing. Mm -hmm. I remember my interview with Joe and he was like, so why do you want to work here? And I said, uh, I love dancing. I have no problem showing off my body. That doesn't bother me at all. Um, and I don't know, I just enjoy it. And it's funny because a lot of people ask me, so what was it like your first time on stage? And Honestly, it was fine. Yeah. Like, it was fun. I just, I don't know. I enjoy being on stage. I enjoy dancing. And no, it didn't, it didn't take much for me to learn how to perform. It was, it was more natural than anything. But I mean, even like holding on to the pole, I've seen you guys like That's tuck hard. your arm underneath and yeah, okay, spin so. around by your <laughs> armpit. I'm like, how do you do that without I'm going I'm not going to lie. Pole tricks are, are harder than they seem. And mm -hmm. it probably took me a good couple months to be able to pull myself up on the pole and do some good tricks, but it was worth it. I mean, it's, it's fun when you're up there. It feels like you're flying. Now a behind the scenes thing. Do you guys go in and practice when you first start like ahead of time before the doors so, open? Or? Some of the girls uh, like to practice. Yeah. When we not ahead of time, not before we open, but earlier in the night, you know, six, seven when it's not as busy. And then when it starts to get busier, they'll get off the stage. But a lot of girls will, like to practice pole tricks around six, seven. I don't. I'm a more practice at home kind of person, but that's just Do you have me. a pole at your house? I do. Of course no I do. Really? I have a 55 millimeter Chrome X pole. What are you doing? <laughs> I got one of those. Do you though? <laughs> Joe has one in his basement. Uh, now, Joe, uh, talk to us about, because, I mean, well, both of you can. Amateur night, like, there's probably a lot of women that are like, I would love to do that, but... Yeah, you know, Amateur Night is is an event that we've been doing probably 25 years mm -hmm. every Monday. It's just like it was became a staple of Madame Moore's. Yeah. Um, we're going to really start pushing it a lot harder after the Stormy show. We're going to get right into it and start heavily promoting it. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just a night where we get a lot of females that like to come in. And, if you know, if they ever wanted to experience what it's like to just go up there and give it a shot without yeah. any pressure, they don't have to take their clothes off if they don't want just yeah. for fun, you know? Yeah, get up there, grab under the pole, spin yeah, around, see if you can do it. check it out in front of a crowd. It's an experience, you know? And they all seem to want to do it, you know? Yeah. Especially after they got a couple drinks in them. Yeah, you absolutely. Know? Most of them really enjoy it once they get on stage. Yeah. <laughs> can't get them off. Yeah, they're... <laughs> okay, true. we're closing. Time to get off the stage now. <laughs> but I, I, I think somebody trying pole dancing for the first time, the first thing that pops in my head is, and I don't know if you ever saw this, um, King of Queens, when, uh, when Doug's wife, uh, Carrie... Gets the pole in the bedroom and she's trying and she sucks at it. <laughs> and Doug actually gets on the pole and shows her how to do it. I just uh, that's one of the funniest things ever. Anyway, uh, all right. So Stormy Daniels coming to town uh, in just a couple of weeks and uh, tickets available at Matamoras. Yep. All right. Sweet. Looking forward to it. Thanks for coming in, guys. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Jim.